Welcome to another episode of Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. Today we'll be um, installing these strip lights. It's the real cheap version of it. Bought it on Trade Me, $8.50. So it's really cheap. So in this episode I'll show you how to install these strip lights and also how to make them last longer. So um, I'm going to show you how that's done. These are 3528 LED strip lights and um, there's about three, 300 LEDs on this 5 meter roll. And also, um, you're also able to cut them every three LEDs. You can cut them and uh, resold this on wires, wires to them if you've got um, multiple areas you want to install them, them to. This is where we're going to be installing the strip LED lights. Uh, it's at the bottom of where the rod lockers are and that will give some light to the back end of the deck. We'll be installing 1.5 meter strip on this end and 1.5 meter strip on this end. I've started off um, getting a starting point for where the strips will begin. I want them to be in line with my life but um, tank at the back so I've just taken this measured it across um, to that end keeping it flat on on the tank uh, measuring it across to that end and getting my starting point so from there I want it to be 1.5 meters going all the way to the front of the boat I just measured this LED strip and actually on exactly 1.5 meters there's already a solder joint right there that's why i'm going to cut it and solder um, my wires to i had to undo these um, hatches um, in order for my right to actually fit in there and um, also had to remove the seat and move it up so i've got enough space for the right to pass through because it's got Quite a long motor and it got stuck on the seat. Okay, so there I've got my little groove where I'm going to uh, stick the LED strips in. It's got adhesive back, so I'm going to stick it on with the adhesive back. But that 3M uh, sticky sticky tape is not very sticky, and it's not going to last very long. So I'm going to use some clear silicone and just stick it on with that as well, and then have it covered off and make it make it flush again. So here at the very end, I'm going to be drilling a hole and straight through there where the cables will be running in and if you look at the back there um, there's a little ledge right here where the cables will be running on and um, I'll make a hole in the corner going through to the bulge area I finished drilling the hole for the cables to fit in through and also see in there the hole going back to the, the bulge area and also now completed the other end, the other side. That's got the little groove in, and it has the, the holes for the cable. When you're using silicon on uh, on this, get the one that's clear, the clear silicon. You get one that says clear, but if you actually uh, put it on, it's got um, it's a little bit cloudy. It's not really clear as this one. You can see right through it. The other one you get actually has a little bit of whiteness to it and it's not really clear. So right now I um, need to be running the cable. Um, there's a pipe there. Um, that pipe is going all the way to the front center console. So I need to be um, feeding in a snake through there and then getting a cable from the front to the back. So this is the um, pipe at the front at the center console runs in at the bottom and then goes goes in all the way into that capping um, there's the switch which will have the um, deck lights on it um, runs all the way to the top and into 
my um, connections at the uh, at the top. This is my voltage regulator that's going to the solar panel that's charging my um, my batteries. Um, on this end, I've got all the negative connections, and on that end, the positive connections. So um, it'll be getting a negative from here. Um, then I've got a positive connecting from there to the switch at the bottom. All those switches are just live connections. The other leg of the um, LED will then be plugging in to there, getting its positive from, from the switch and the negative from this connector block over there. So there I have my snake running, running straight through and just connecting the ends of my wire to there so I can pull it through uh, to the back right and there she comes straight out the back and um, quite a bit of stack in there just to be sure that I have enough to work with I've decided to put this um, strip connector at the back and then the, both those LEDs will be running to the positive and negative and I've also got some spares so if there's any other electronics in the future I want to run I can run it to here and then just connect it in there and I know the cables already um, going to the front so this will just be sitting on there and um, I'll have the other two cables running to it I've soldered a piece of wire to my strip lights I'm making sure that you um, you seal off the joints pretty good. I've had, uh, used some heat shrink on there. Just gave it a little piece of wire long enough to go through and connect to that connector block at the back. So just feeding my cable through the little hole I've made and then taking the other end and sticking it in into that hole that I've made at the back. And the tape will come out through the side there. And then I will have it connected to the connect block at the back. And that will sit in like that um, in the groove and I'll pack that in with the, the silicon. Just testing the LEDs and it's it's on, it's working. episode of Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. Today we'll be um, installing these strip lights. It's the real cheap version of it. Bought it on Trade Me. $8.50. So it's really cheap. So in this episode I'll show you how to install these strip lights and also how to make them last longer. So um, I'm going to show you how that's done. These are 3528 LED strip lights and um, there's about three 300 LEDs on this 5 meter roll and also um, you're also able to cut them every three LEDs you can cut them and uh, resolder some wires, wires to them if you've got um, multiple areas you want to install them, them to this is where we're going to be installing the strip LED lights uh, it's at the bottom of where the rod lockers are and that will give some light to the back end of the episode of Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. Today we'll be um, installing these strip lights. It's the real cheap version of it. Bought it on Trade Me. $8.50. So it's really cheap. So in this episode I'll show you how to install these strip lights and also how to make them last longer. So um, I'm going to show you how that's done. These are 3528 LED strip lights and um, there's about three 300 LEDs on this 5 meter roll and also um, you're also able to cut them every three LEDs you can cut them and uh, resolder some wires, wires to them if you've got um, multiple areas you want to install them, them to this is where we're going to be installing the strip LED lights 
uh, it's at the bottom of where the rod lockers are and that will give some light to the back end of the deck. We'll be installing 1.5 meter strip on this end. 